hi dear students welcome to mn maths and uh, in this lecture we will discuss about the arithmetic operations on functions so dear students uh, whenever uh, you have two functions you can add them you can subtract multiply divide uh, in a natural way to uh, form new functions so uh, let's suppose we have uh, functions uh, let we have f and g are uh, functions let f and g are functions then we can uh, add them we can divide them we can subtract them we can multiply them uh, similar uh, in a natural way so uh, you can uh, write it uh, we can uh, add them and uh, we can subtract them and uh, we can also multiply them and we can divide them so for example uh, for example f of x for example f plus g is defined by the formula uh, f plus g is equal uh, on x f plus g on x it means it will be equals to f of x plus g of x so that is our uh, function uh, arithmetic operations on function so you can first you can add them then you uh, then you apply on uh, the given value x so dear students uh, here uh, we can uh, uh, we have uh, another examples uh, such uh, that the example one of our book example one example one so let's suppose we have a function f of x 1 plus x minus 2 and g of x is equals to x minus 3. So this is the example uh, g of x is equals to x minus 3. So you can add them, you can subtract them, you can divide them. Uh, and uh, you can multiply them so uh, if we have to find uh, f of x plus g of x if we have to find uh, find f of x plus uh, g of x or we can also say it f plus g so whenever we have to find f plus g then you just add these functions left hand side add into left hand side and right hand side add into right hand side so solution of this uh, example is f plus g on x it will be equals to f of x plus g of x that is equals to uh, the value of f of x is 1 plus square root x minus 3 uh, plus that is f of x plus uh, the value of uh, that is x minus 3 so this is the value of x minus uh, g of x so we can add them after simplification uh, it uh, when we open the brackets you can solve it very easily at your home so it will be x uh, so these constant terms solve with each other uh, minus 3 plus 1 it will be minus 2 so x uh, minus 2 plus x minus 3 will be the answer of uh, f plus g on x so this is uh, in such a way you can add them so similarly you can subtract them whenever uh, you have to find uh, find f minus g then simply you have to uh, solve in such a way just to replace plus by minus in in our first uh, part so f minus g uh, on x that is equals to f of x minus g of x and that uh, will be 
uh, equals to whenever we put uh, uh, the value of f of x that is equals to 1 plus x uh, minus 2 square root and you have to minus so here uh, we put minus g of x the value of g of x is x minus 3 so after simplification that is 1 plus square root x minus 2 when you open the bracket and uh, the minus term start at the uh, bracket then you should be change the signs of term under the bracket that will be changed so uh, after simplification that will be the plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 4 and this minus x and then x minus x minus 2 so this is our uh, uh, we can uh, um, subtract them similarly you can uh, add them you can uh, you can uh, divide them and multiply them so if we have to uh, divide these two functions same example if you uh, want to divide them you have to find f of f over g so uh, you just write it f over g into x that is equals to f of x divided by g of x and uh, that will be equals to 1 minus square root x minus 2 x minus 3 so you can solve if uh, it is solvable then you solve it but here it is uh, a, in a simplest form so you cannot solve uh, it more so you can uh, also uh, in example uh, same example one you can find the uh, 7 multiply by f so you can find this uh, function uh, it's a multiplied by a constant so just uh, you have to multiply our f of x by a constant uh, by a constant so 7 multiply by 1 minus the value of f of x is uh, just uh, put here and multiply them so 7 ones are 7 and here is 7 x minus 2 so dear students so you can um, when you have uh, two functions or two or more functions you can add them you can subtract them you can multiply them and also you can uh, divide them when but whenever you divide one th one thing keep it in your mind the denominator must be uh, non-zero the, the term g of x is not be zero uh, is not be uh, uh, we write here we can write here uh, g is not equals to zero uh, so this is uh, arithmetic operations on functions and you can apply the arithmetic functions on uh, your function uh, on your uh, functions uh, so thank you for watching please subscribe my channel if this video is uh, very useful to you so please subscribe and press the icon button for more lectures thank you for watching